Hello guys, welcome to my channel Swati Farmagnan. Today's topic is antifungal agents. This topic is there in third form D, medicinal chemistry. So we will see the introduction. What are fungal infections? Fungal infections are also called as mycosis and this mycosis or fungal infections are classified into two types. One is systemic mycosis and second one is superficial mycosis. Systemic mycosis means if it is uh, attacking to the blood circulation or systemic circulation infection is very severe then we will call it as systemic mycosis. Superficial mycosis means it will affect only the a superficial part like the epidermal layer or dermal layer cutaneous part of the skin or a subcutaneous part of the skin that type of fungal infections are considered as a superficial mycosis now we'll see in detail about systemic mycosis sporadic distribution is very common in some areas and not common in other areas in case of systemic mycosis this is sporadic distribution is very common in some areas but it is not common in other areas this systemic mycosis will be caused by soil inhabiting saprophytes. They can adapt to the internal environment of the host like lungs which is a common root and they will enter into the internal environment of the host body or host cell by lungs which is the common root for entry of the fungal infection or fungus. The infection can be found by skin test or immunological procedure we can do to check it out this fungal infection this body produces the body produces gain cells and walling off lesions are detected by autopsy and x-ray the what are the blisters formation or lesions or any wounds or any uh, fungal infection symptoms can be detected by the autopsy test or x-ray examples of few systemic mycosis or few systemic uh, fungal infections or cystoplasmosis sporotrichosis blastomycosis cochidiodomycosis cryptococcosis paracochidiodomycosis in the systemic mycosis there is one more category this is considered as the special category or new type of the systemic infection that is opportunistic fungal infection this type of systemic mycosis or systemic fungal infection will occur due to overuse of immunosuppressive agents antibiotics steroids cytotoxins infrared radiations etc so immunosuppressive agents we will use in case of graft rejection during the graft rejection case we will give this immunosuppressive agent so to depress or to uh, make the immunity system deficient and overuse of the antibiotics steroids cytotoxins like cancer agents can carcinogenic agents or can anti-cancer drugs and infrared radiations so with this all you overuse will get this uh, opportunistic fungal infections example under opportunistic fungal infections is systemic candidiasis and aspergillosis next uh, uh, category of the mycosis is superficial mycosis this superficial mycosis is again classified into two types first one is cutaneous superficial mycosis and subcutaneous superficial mycosis cutaneous mycosis are uh, infections which are most common compared to subcutaneous infection this cutaneous infection will occur to the keratinized epidermis and epidermal appendages like hair and nail etc example under cutaneous mycosis or cutaneous infection is trichophyton infection microsporum infection tinea infections this tinea infections to tinea pruris and tinea grinius will cause these uh, mycosis infections on the hand groin part beard scalp and nails subcutaneous infection involves the skin as well as the subcutaneous tissue which is the under layer after the cutaneous epidermal layer examples under subcutaneous infections are chromomycosis sporotrichosis mycetoma and lobomycosis fungal infections and their reactions or tissue actions of fungal diseases shows different response and it varies widely depending on the type of the organism involved which type of the uh, fungi is involved for producing the fungal disease depending on the tissue actions we can see and the different reactions we can observe in the patient and that reactions include severe inflammation and followed by scar formation and keloid formation means projections on the skin 
or uh, projections on the subcutaneous layer or cutaneous layer we can observe in the patient who is suffering from the fungal infection next point is a uniform acute pyogenic means formation of the pus takes place and granuloma with the cessations takes place and fibro uh, caseous pulmonary granuloma these are the reactions which occur by fungal infections how we can define antifungal agents the drugs which are used in the treatment of various types of the fungal infections that is mycosis are called as antifungal agents in this antifungal agents there are two categories one is narrow spectrum antifungal agents and another category is broad spectrum antifungal agent this antifungal agents are uh, classified based on its activity we have, we can classify into two categories one is narrow spectrum antifungal agents and second one is broad spectrum antifungal agents narrow spectrum antifungal agents means the drugs which antifungal agents which can act only on one specific type of the species broad spectrum antifungal agents or uh, uh, agents which can show the activity antifungal property on different types of the species are called as antifungal broad spectrum antifungal agents we'll see the chemical classification now this is called as chemical classification because this antifungal agents classification this classification is based on the chemical structure so that's why it is considered as the chemical classification remember one more point pharmacological classification is different and chemical classification is different in pharmacology we'll see the classification based on the mechanism of action in case of medicinal chemistry we'll see the classification based on the chemical structure so in this antifungal agents the first class is azoles under azoles examples are clotrimazole myconazole and ketoconazole here azole indicates it contains imidazole as the basic nucleus second class is allylamines and related compounds examples are naphthifen and tolnaphtate these two drugs contains allylamine as the side uh, it contains allylamine as the side chain next is fatty acids and derivatives and its derivatives examples are zinc propionate and sodium caprylate phenols and its derivatives examples are haloprosin and cyclopyroxolamine here phenol is the basic nucleus next is nucleoside in nucleosides it may be a guanine purine or any purine or pyrimidine derivative uh, base, uh, basic nucleus will be present here in case of flu cytosine is the drug which is drug under nucleosides this flu cytosine contains pyrimidine as the basic nucleus sixth class is antifungal antibiotics this a uh, various types of the antibiotics uh, various uh, antibiotics can be used as a antifungal agents that is this category examples are natamycin amphotericin b nistatin and candesidin other antifungal antibiotics means a synthetically prepared or artificially prepared antifungal antibiotic is griseofulvin eighth class is miscellaneous category of the antifungal agents means uh, the drugs which cannot included under the seven classes is called considered as miscellaneous category example under this miscellaneous category is acrisorcin here in this drug risorcinol and acridin are the basic nucleus present in this drug thank you for watching